Hello, today we're in Agua, Massachusetts at the Maple Grove Cemetery. It's on Southwick uh, Road and it's at 325 Southwick Street, which is Route 57, going towards the west in the direction of Southwick. And we're at the corner of Southwest Street over there and Northwest Street. A couple of colonial homes are over there. So these uh, gravestones are going to be fairly old because it's in a colonial sub neighborhood of Agua. And we're going to go and see and figure out what's inside there. I know it, it dates from the 1829 and it goes up to about the 19 teens in gravestones and then it peters out. Anything you want to know today? And what direction are the stones facing? Well, the, the gravestones from about 1850 onwards to the modern day are pointing towards the north, with description to the north. But the older ones seem to be pointing towards the west, and that's a good sign. But they don't always follow that rule, so some might have been turned. And I didn't see many uh, little footstones, so I'm going to search for them with you as we go in. Okay, we're going to go inside of the Maple Grove Cemetery in Agua. See what it has in store for us. It's on a very busy street. There's a little business before the cemetery, so you can park in there. There's a sign on this gate telling you what it's all about. They call it 1820 Maple Grove Cemetery. All right, and in the beginning here, you meet some fairly modern stones. So they must have started older ones towards the back. Like, for instance, there's the John's obelisk in marble. All right, and his personal stones in front of it for the Johnson family. Leonard Johnson and his wife, Maria Prout Johnson. Right over here, you have the Smith family. And you do have some fairly old stone here, a uh, Silas Dewey, 1844. Right here's a Smith, but all its personal stones are right in back of it. And then there's some more Smith. Okay, and there's lots of families around here. Now I do see, okay, here's some footstones here. A, G, and D, G belonging two, oh, they belong to the ones right back here. So, Abel Griswold, death 1843, and the Demia Griswold, death 1845. Now, they have the footstones right here. Okay, so, these are pointing towards the north. These headstones, they should be pointing, if they died in 1843, they should be pointing towards the west, and that's that direction. And also, their footstones should be pointing towards the east. And it's lying on the north-south axis, both pointing towards the north. So someone switched it around to make the cemetery look more palatable and neatly arranged and pointed towards the road. But when these people died, they had them buried so that you'd be looking at the inscriptions right here on the headstones pointing towards the west and during those two footstones we'll be back here pointing towards the east about seven feet away from the headstones so they point in different directions okay so someone shifted it around probably a superintendent now as you go back into the cemetery only a few more steps you start to see the stones arranged in the correct direction especially towards the back left and back middle. All right, so if you look at these stones here, the headstones are here on the east west axis, but their inscriptions are pointed towards the east. So, if someone shift these around, these big stones should be back here where the footstones are, and these footstones should be where the headstones are. And headstones should point towards the west and footstones towards the east. So someone shifted the, even these, trying to make a nice arrangement for themselves. For, so most of this cemetery has been shifted around. Now finally, 
we see a gravestone that's correct in that it points toward inscription points towards the west. All right, it says Sarah, daughter of William Gleason. It's hard. It's hard to tell. And it points towards the west, and this is probably her footstone down here. Now the footstone should be seven feet back of her, and pointing towards the east direction. But at least the direction has been preserved. All right, and as you go back here, you see a Henry Hedge and his family, Phoebe Tennant, wife of Henry Hedge. All right, they're pointing in the correct direction. And their footstones are back here too. Now everything is fine on these except that correct the headstones should point towards the west and they do. And it lies on the west east west axis. But these little footstones back here should be pointed in the other direction. Alright. Okay, so we'll go back to the furthest part of the cemetery. The cemetery is divided pretty much into thirds north-south and thirds east-west. All right, you see some modern stones back here uh, up to 1952. All right, and these old stones back here pointing towards the west. This is a Civil War stone back here, I believe. Okay, and here's a Calvin Wheeler with a footstone back there, pointing the wrong direction. But most of these stones, almost every stone in here has been shifted except a few. And a lot of footstones are still around it. So these are not footstones. These are personal stones that belong to this obelisk over here. So this Cornish family has names on the obelisk and then the personal stones down below. Okay, so been a lot of shifting around the cemetery trying to make it look like it faces the road. And thus, if you have an ancestor burying in here, and if you want to know where they are, you're going to have to use those principles to figure out pre-1850, pretty much they're going to be east-west and near the stones. And everything's been shifted except a few, so you have to imagine where their body lies and in what direction. Okay, and here's some 1833, 1839, 1839. Lucretia, wife of George Spencer. Right, and her stone should be shifted 90 degrees this direction. Okay, so there's a lot of principles I told you there, but I hope you come visit this cemetery on your own, some old homes around this area, and what we're gonna do is give you a panorama. Well, thank you very much for the visit.